Добър вечер, дами и господа! Good evening, ladies and gentlemen! My name is Laura Чекоратова. I'm co-chair of Bulgarian Concert Evenings in New York. Tonight we are coming to you from the Bulgarian Consulate located on the Upper East Side of Manhattan. This elegant library is where we have our concert series every month. And this year will be a little different because instead of having our concerts live, we will be pre-recording them or live streaming them online. You're very welcome to join us for a very exciting 16th season and we start tonight with our opening night gala. I would like to thank the American Foundation for Bulgaria, our sponsor. Without them, we wouldn't be able to continue our work this year. I would like to thank everyone also, all of our sponsors, contributors over the years for supporting us and to thank them for making sure that we can continue our work during these difficult times for all the artists. And last but not least, I would like to thank Maya Christova, the Honorable Maya Christova, who is the Consul General of Bulgaria here in New York, for her generosity and for providing us with this beautiful space for all of these recordings. As well as our engineer, the videographer, the artist behind the screen, who is uh, working on presenting uh, this concert, especially for you tonight. And with that, I would like to introduce the first two pieces, which will be performed by Georgi Valchev, my husband, violinist, and myself. We will be starting with Pancho Vladigerov's delighted, delightful piece, Biljana Platno Beleshe, based on Macedonian folk song. And then we will have the world premiere of Laura Lahmat's work, Mutual, which was composed in 2020 and commissioned by Bulgarian Concert Evenings in New York. Enjoy the show.
would like to introduce to you the composer of this piece, Laura Alatna. I would like to express my deepest gratitude to Laura and Georgi and to all of you viewers. Thank you so much. My name is Mariana Karpatova and I'm honored to be participating in this virtual gala. I will be singing for you three Bulgarian songs. They're all love stories. The first one is by composer Dimitar Petkov. And it's about a boy who looks at the moon and is wondering if when the moon passed by his village, who is sitting by his sweetheart? The second one is called The Blue-Eyed One, and it's by composer Georgi Zlatev Cherkin. It's an unhappy love story, a girl being hopelessly in love with a boy. The third song is by composer Parashkev Hadjiev, Hey, you Stoyan, and it's about a boy who meets a girl, and he's wondering, should I break her picture? Should I steal her flower? Or should I kiss her? Kiss is for life.
Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and thank you so much for tuning into the gala for Bulgarian concert evenings in New York. My name is Alexandrina Boyanova, and I have just joined uh, the executive board of this wonderful series here in New York. And I'm really excited to present to you two of Vasco Abogiev's uh, caprices for solo violin. Uh, they're um, part of a bigger cycle of nine caprices, uh, which, would, uh, which would also be sounding uh, later this season uh, in a whole program full of Vasco Bajiev's extant uh, works for violin and piano. Uh, so Vasco Bajiev, for those of you uh, who may not have heard this name before, he was a child prodigy, violinist, uh, rising star, uh, whose fate unfortunately was cut short due to the World War II and he was really affected by it. Um, nevertheless, we have, we're lucky to have some of his music surviving and uh, I was lucky enough to um, be able to record and make new editions of his uh, violin works, including the Nike Compresses, um, two of which you will hear right now. So I hope you enjoy. These are Vasco Bajiev's two caprices for solo violin. Thank you. 
I'm Stani Dimitrova. I'm a violinist and board member of Bulgarian Concert Evenings New York. The next piece you're about to hear is Suite for Two Violins and Piano by Moritz Moszkowski. Moritz Moszkowski was a German composer from Polish descent. And even though he's not as well known today, back in his time, he was one of the most well-respected pianist composers, along with Frédéric Chopin and Franz Liszt. As you'll notice in the piece, uh, the piano part is very exciting and busy, and clearly Moszkowski wanted to show off his virtuosity as well. Very often you'll hear the piano even kind of trying to steal the show from two violins. We'll perform for you third movement, which is slower and slightly sad, and the fourth movement, which is exciting and galloping style. Thank you.
Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Dobr večer, dami i gospoda. I am Anna Stoicheva and I am the co-chair of executive board of the Bulgarian Concert Evenings in New York. I am so thrilled to be here this evening, performing Beethoven's Piano Quartet in E flat major with my amazing colleagues from the Metropolitan Opera Orchestra, Concertmaster David Chen, violist Dob Shandlin, and assistant principal cellist Joel Noyes. This opportunity to perform for you feels very special, even more in the light of so many concerts being cancelled in the past year. There is nothing like the experience of um, collaborating in person. The energy of the music making that we feel brings us great joy that cannot be described in words. We would like to thank the Consulate General of the Republic of Bulgaria and specifically Consul General Maya Christova for so generously providing us with the space to perform for you. This year marks Beethoven's 250th anniversary from his birth and we chose one of his quartets to commemorate this important milestone. Beethoven wrote three piano quartets at the age of 15 and then he, he never again revisited this genre. The only other piano quartets written at the time were by Mozart, and they influenced Beethoven greatly when composing his own quartets. This quartet in E flat major that we are um, performing this evening starts out with an unusually slow introduction, where all instruments play a stately dotted rhythm motif in unison. A faster section in sonata form follows. The second movement is in B flat major and it begins with a beautiful melody in the piano, followed by the strings. In the last movement is a delightful and a joyous rondo. Although the piano plays a very important role in this quartet, the strings have an equally important role especially in the second movement. On a more personal note, I would like to dedicate this evening's performance to my grandmother, who loved music above all other things in life, and she recently passed away. We love you very much and we miss you, Maminke. Thank you and enjoy our performance.